Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to review over how to calculate um, concentrations of solutions. So let's get started. So when we think of a solution, I want you to be thinking about the solution is composed of a solute plus a solvent. Okay, so the first one we will be using is molarity and it's abbreviated with capital M and it is the amount of solute in moles over the volume of solution in liters. So moles per liter. You may have worked with this already before in first semester general chemistry. It's the most commonly used unit concentration for general chem. So you'll definitely be using this one. So moles of solute over liters of solution. The next one is molality and that's has this italicized M or you can refer to it as molal. And it is the amount of solute also in moles, but it's over the mass of the solvent in kilograms. And that's really critical that you remember that. It's over the mass of the solvent, not solution. So the units are moles per kilogram. And then the mole fraction here, and mole fraction is like the name suggests, it's moles, in this case of the solute, over the total amount of moles of solute plus solvent, or the moles of solution. And there's no units for this because they cancel out. Something to make note of, here it's showing the mole fraction of the solute. You could do the same thing. You could do mole fraction of the solvent, where you have moles of solvent over the total moles of solute plus solvent um, in the solution. Another concentration unit you could use is mole percent. And so mole percent is the same formula, but just multiplied by 100%. And then you could also work in parts by mass. And that's basically the mass of the solute over the mass of solution. And just as long as the units are consistent, you could use grams, you could use kilograms. It doesn't matter because those units will cancel out. And then you multiply it by some sort of factor. So the most common um, parts by mass concentration you will use is mass percent. And so the multiplication factor would be 100. Another one you could use is parts per million by mass, um, abbreviated PPM, and the multipli multiplication factor is 10 to the 6, or parts per billion, where the multiplication factor is 10 to the 9th. And so, for example, if you're determining the concentration of lead in drinking water, you'd be working with these units where it's extremely dilute, or at least we hope it is, right? <laughs> In addition, you can do the same types of calculations, but use volume instead. And so you can do volume percent, parts per million by volume, or parts per billion by volume. And so a lot of times we will say by mass, by mass, or by volume to indicate what units we use. So once again, you can do liters, milliliters, just as long as the volume of the solute and the volume of solution are the same units. Okay. All right. So let's just practice an example together. Um, the more practice you have with these um, formulas um, and these units of concentration, the easier it will become. So definitely make sure that you review over these formulas, but then utilize them in these word problems so that you can solidify your knowledge of it. All right, so an aqueous potassium nitrate solution is made using 72.5 grams of potassium nitrate. So I'm gonna write down everything that I'm given and dilute it to a total solution volume of two liters. And that's important that you make note that the volume is of the solution and not just of the solvent. So the volume of solution is two liters. And it's asking us to calculate the molarity, the molality, and the mass percent of the solution, assuming that the density of the solution 
is equal to 1.05 grams over one milliliter. And I'm being very explicit that I'm saying solution, solution, because we're gonna be discussing what your solute is, what your solvent is, and then also the solution. So when it comes to density, if it's saying the density of the solution is 1.05 grams per milliliter, it's saying that for every one milliliter of solution, that solution will weigh 1.05 grams, okay? So both of these are the solution. And that will be important with our dimensional analysis. All right, so I'm just gonna start doing some calculations. Um, you know, you don't have to go in the order that I go in. And in fact, if you wanna pause this video and try to do this on your own using the formulas um, above, then please do so, it'll be great practice for you. Um, so I noticed that molarity and molality both need moles of solute. And our solute is definitely the potassium nitrate. And what's our solvent? Our solvent is indicated here. It's an aqueous solution, so we're working with water. So I need to figure out the moles of the solute. So 72.5 grams of potassium nitrate. I'll need to use the molar mass which is 101.11 grams per mole of potassium nitrate. And I get 0 0.71704 moles of potassium nitrate. If I rounded at that point, it would be to three sig figs. So I'm just gonna underline that there to keep track of my significant figures throughout these calculations. I know molarity is moles of solute per liters of solution. So once we plug and chug, we have all the information of that. Um, but I noticed that molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So I wanna go ahead and try to solve for kilograms of solvent before I start plugging in these numbers into my uh, equations, okay? So something um, to make note of here is that we have two liters of solution and we also were given the density, which is going to allow us to convert to the grams of solution. So to go from liters into grams, we first need to convert to milliliters, excellent. And there are a thousand milliliters per one liter and then we can use the density of the solution to figure out the grams of solution and I got that to be 2100 grams of solution all right now we're trying to figure out the kilograms of the solvent, right? And we know that the solution is equal to the solute plus the solvent. So you could say grams of solution are equal to the grams of solute plus the grams of solvent. Or you can say kilograms are equal to the kilograms of the solute plus the kilograms of the solvent, which is what I'm going to do. So the kilograms of the solution it's equal to the kilograms of the solute, which is the potassium nitrate, plus the kilograms of the solvent, which is the water. And that's what we're trying to solve for. So we're gonna rearrange this equation. So if we wanna solve for kilograms of the solvent, then that's equal to the kilograms of the solution minus the kilograms of the solute. Now we know the kilograms of solution. All we need to do is divide 2100 by 1000 to get kilograms and you get 2.1 kilograms. And we also know the kilograms of the solute. We just need to convert 72.5 grams into kilograms. Once again, dividing by 1000. So the kilograms of solvent is equal to 2.100 kilograms of the solution minus 0.0725 kilograms of the solute 
and that's equal to 2.0275 kilograms of the solvent. All right, so we get all the information we need to do this problem. So if I want to find molarity, then that is moles of the solute, potassium nitrate over liters of solution. And the moles of the solute was 0 0.71704 moles of potassium nitrate over liters of solution, which, which, which was given to two liters. And so the molarity is 0.35852 molar. And we're gonna round that to three sig figs because the moles would have been given three sig figs, it was the volume. So 0.359 molar. And you always wanna identify it as the solute, so potassium nitrate and then solution, because we are working with a solution here. Excellent, so let's also calculate molality. Molality is moles of the solute over the kilograms of the solvent. So that's equal to 0 0.71704 moles of potassium nitrate over kilograms of the solvent, which we calculated to be 2.100. My apologies, let me erase that. I was looking at the solution. Kilograms of the solvent's 2.0275. kilograms of water of the solvent and that is equal to 0.35365 molal. I don't like to just write little m because it looks too much like mass. Um, if you're typing it out then you can see it, that it's italicized and that that's different than mass. However, if you're writing it out I usually like to write molal. Once again we'll round this to three significant figures. 0.354 molal of potassium nitrate solution. And you'll see in a couple of videos in the future um, that molality will be used for colligative properties. So we will be able to use that pretty soon in our studies. Actually, let me use the yellow here. All right, and then finally, mass percent, and I'm running out of space here. Um, let me write that above. Mass percent is equal to the mass of the solute over the mass of solution. Remember, it's over the total times 100%, that's our multiplication factor here. You can work in grams or kilograms here. So I did grams, 72.5 grams of potassium nitrate over 2100 grams of the solution. Once again, multiply by 100%, and this is equal to 3.45238. Um, percent by mass and to round to three sig figs would be 3.45 percent usually we write m over m to indicate that it's mass over mass rather than volume over volume and we always indicate the solute potassium nitrate and solution All right, so um, hopefully this makes sense to you and just be very methodical. Always label, you know, if this is the solute, is it the solution or is it the solvent? And practice 
calculating each of these different concentration terms because like I said, you'll use different ones for different applications in the future. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.